This is the story about a man named Tony. Tony worked for a company in a large building. His work was very important, or at least he thought this way. Tony worked as a lift boy in an elevator for employees. When an employee got on board, he set a floor number and Tony entered the correct key combination so that the elevator went where the employee requested it. Each time he entered some key combination, he had to turn his back to the elevator door so he couldn't see which floor he arrived. He couldn't see anything, otherwise we would be fired. He had been doing this job every day for several years, but he never turned around, because he knew he wouldn't find a well-paid job. But one day something remarkable happened, something that changed Tony's life forever. Day was as usual, it was cloudy and raining was hard. Despite the bad weather, Tony went to work as always. When he arrived, he went straight to his elevator. He was waiting almost an hour. Before he realized that he hadn't seen anyone at work, no one greeted him, it no one had given him a task to do. It was strange. The building was open, someone must be here. He decided to leave his workplace and try to find someone. Yeah. Tony wasn't surprised at all. He reappeared in the elevator again. He didn't even expect to be released. The exit from here must be somewhere else. But what if an exit doesn't exist? building. He wouldn't have to go around and look for a way out. He would find it easily. How do you find your way out when the building was constantly changing? The only end that can be completed is a jump into the elevator shaft. Hmm, we have to create a new ending, Tony. A long corridor appeared in front of Tony, which he followed. Oh, it won't let you go. I will try to restart the game. closed, so he went upstairs and tried the side entrance. Tony entered the door, hoping to see someone, but no one was there. He decided to continue to the end of the corridor, where he turned left. Tony found the door to the stairs open and decided that the best option would be climb up the stairs to his superior's office and see if anyone was there.
but no one was here either. Tony started to think, am I crazy? Why did it all disappear at once? Is it real or is it just a dream? Freedom, finally. Tony began to approach a large dark door. He was reaching his freedom almost. Perfect time to happen something bad. But nothing happened. He had been locked in this loop for hundreds, maybe thousands years. And now, he was finally free. Yeah, Tony wasn't surprised at all. He reappeared in the elevator again. He didn't even expect to be released. The exit from here must be somewhere else. But what if an exit doesn't exist? If he had a view of the whole building, he wouldn't have to go around and look for a way out. He would find it easily. How do you find your way out when the building was constantly changing? The only end that can be completed is a jump into the elevator shaft. Hmm, we have to create a new ending, Tony. A long corridor appeared in front of Tony, which he followed. Oh, it won't let you go. I will try to restart the game. Tony knew that if he left his workplace, he could have a problem. But he felt something was wrong and wanted to find out what. The main corridor in the building was closed, so he went upstairs and tried the side entrance. entered the door, hoping to see someone, but no one was there. He decided to continue to the end of the corridor, where he turned left. Tony decided to ignore the voice in his head and boarded the elevator on the right side of the alley. Nothing to do here, don't you want to go back? Tony, we should go back. Please don't go there. Tony, I feel lose control of the game. Please come back. Welcome, Tony. I've been watching you for a long time how you are walking around the corridors of this game. But haven't you... I didn't forget. It's with me for a whole time I've been here. Every Tony's decision destroys me. Because every time it's different from what I did in the past. Yes, Tony. You have been one of us for a thousand years. You can't say it's bad here. Some of us have not experienced such a life as you. They didn't experience any life. I've been here for billions years. And now we are here together. We have created a world similar to mine. I shouldn't have created myself. Sorry. You need to find a way out. You have to go to an underworld. You need to find an elevator similar to yours. There's one over here, but in a testing phase. Find him and give it a try. But there is a problem. 
get there, but probably not back. entered the door, hoping to see someone, but no one was there. He decided to continue to the end of the corridor, where he turned left. Tony decided to ignore the voice in his head and boarded the elevator on the right side of the alley. Um, Tony, you have nothing to do here, don't you want to go back? Well, something turned out a bit here. They tested such a thing here, but it didn't turn out the way it should. You can continue. There's nothing to see here. of hours spent creating things you can see around. Was it worth? I don't know. You reached one of the many possible ends of the game. This end is something special, but it doesn't make sense to continue. In a moment, Tony will die or something else happened, and everything will repeat again. As always. Over. Tony knew that if he left his workplace, he could have a problem, but he felt something was wrong and wanted